Well, hey friends, so today I'm sitting here playing a little bit with, with my little wooden gun. I, I don't have guns at my house, a lot of guns like some people do, but I do have this little wooden rubber band gun. Boink! Ooh, and I just shot my hand. Wow, but it didn't hurt. No, no, no. So, hey, speaking of guns, did you ever hear someone shout, I got shotgun! when they were ready to get into a vehicle, I got shotgun. Or or maybe you've shouted shotgun when you're getting into a car, I call shotgun. Or, you know, maybe you've heard someone say, you know what, mom, Jake got to ride shotgun this morning, it's my turn. Or you're in a vehicle and you're on a road trip and you say, okay, let's get back on the road. Who wants to ride shotgun? Well, what's this talk about shotgun and riding shotgun all about? I mean, you're not holding a shotgun while you're riding in the car, I hope. Okay, well, this riding shotgun phrase refers to the practice of sitting alongside the driver in the passenger seat. That's what we say when we say, I call shotgun. It means we get the front seat next to the driver of the car. So now, why is the passenger seat called shotgun? Why do we say that? Well, the front passenger seat in a car next to the driver References the shotgun aspect of it references stagecoaches in the early um, 1800s and the early 1900s in the United States and the driver or the stagecoach was often protected by the driver and somebody sitting next to the driver who would often be armed with a shotgun. That's right, and maybe you've seen pictures of the stagecoaches and the driver sitting up high and next to him would be the guard or the person carrying the gun, riding shotgun. So riding shotgun references this position of the guard on a stagecoach, on a wagon train, or uh, a carriage hauling gold, or anything like that where there was an armed guard sitting next to the driver, they would be called shotgun. Now apparently the concept of the phrase of riding shotgun was not what it was called in those days. They were just called guards. We came to call um, people riding in the front seat or the stagecoach guards shotgun uh, because of a Western novel written in 1905 by Alfred Henry Lewis. And in there he references the Earps riding shotgun or guarding a wagon that was hauling gold and they were riding shotgun and it stuck. So now when we reference riding shotgun, we think of somebody riding in the front of the car next to the driver. Now, we may like to ride shotgun when we travel in a vehicle. And maybe sometimes that can lead to arguments because not everybody in the car is going to be able to ride shotgun, right? We might have to take turns. And I know some people that always like to sit up front next to the driver riding shotgun, and sometimes we might just have to take some turns and sit in the back seat and let somebody else ride shotgun. We know, who do you like to have sit next to you or be near you? Maybe you like to have a good friend or a family member or a team member be close to you and sit next to you at different times. You know, it is good to have people be beside us throughout our lives to help us, to be with us, to even protect us. And I'm glad that I can count on the presence of many of my friends and my family to be next to me at different times. And I'm also glad that I can count on the presence of God, God's presence to be with me. Even though I can't see him physically, I know that God is beside me. You know, the psalmist writes a couple different verses in the book of Psalms about God's closeness to us. Psalm 16, eight says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. He is at my right hand, so I will always be secure. That's interesting. God is at my right hand. He's riding shotgun. Psalm 73, 28 says, But I am close to you, and that's good. Lord and King, I have made you my place of safety, and I will talk about everything we have done. In the New Testament, in the book of James, James 4, 8, it says, Come near to God, and he will come near to you. You know, it is fun to sit up front to call shotgun when we're riding with somebody else. And it always is good to know that we have people close to us and especially God who is next to us, guiding us, helping us, keeping us, protecting us. He's riding shotgun with us. So let's be grateful for that today, okay? Well, I hope you have a day filled with joy 
and a day filled with peace.